Hi everyone, so for the foreseeable future, I'm just going to be reading some children's books online. Feel free to share with families or friends or anyone you know who might have a student who's out of school right now. I'm going to start with this first one. I don't have copyright or anything to it, just want to read it aloud. How Full Is Your Bucket? For Kids. Written by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer, illustrated by Maury J. Manning. Felix was putting one of his last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away. You're too little. I'm big. Stay back. You'll knock it over. I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. See, she drew a picture. Felix, swag. Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad, but when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm, sometimes. Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning, and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Felix sipped, slipped, and choco wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom, you should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drips spill out. Drip, drip. Ha ha! Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip, get that broom and you clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded Mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the choco wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip, hey, look at Felix like his new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip, drip, psst, Felix, psst. Watch out, shrimp, drip. It was still morning and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and he felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop, drop, plop, drop. Plink, the gigantosaurus who wanted a pet by me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at the, all the right places and ooed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped, even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Drop, team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop, nice cow, it's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix. Drop, cool laser ant backpack, Felix. Drop, by afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everybody else has a bucket, too. Drop, drop, let me help you. Drop, drop, here's your baseball. Catch, thanks, dude. Drop, drop, hi, Felix. First day? Yeah, I'm Amir. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, 
he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought, Dogs must have invisible buckets, too. Your dog will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Until then, you do what you want, and you can help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks. And so they did. The end. So Felix helped fill his little sister's fill his little sister's bucket because he learned that everyone has buckets. So right now is a really important time for the whole world to help fill each other's buckets. And you can do what you can to help um, the people around you or um, write notes to people who might feel lonely while we are all being isolated. So do what you can to help and fill everyone's buckets. But I thought this was a really great book and one of my favorites. Thanks for listening.